guys, what's up? If this video is a little dark, I'm sorry. It is so dark outside and not even my studio lights can light me up today. The weather in Miami has been atrocious for the past couple weeks. We had a huge flood the other day and I actually had a flood in my warehouse. Well, I mean, our warehouse is elevated so all of my nail polishes and all that stuff was on a higher level. So thankfully nothing was damaged. Our doors got messed up and the lower level got damaged. We had like some water damage and it hasn't been fun. It's been quite the struggle. I have been... <sighs> Same old story, very busy. And yeah, my YouTube is definitely getting affected by it. Sorry, super random. I just had to stop really quick and go get myself a bomb leaf. I actually just got this from Publix. I bought a giant pack of it because my sister has been raving about this spiked seltzer. This flavor is cranberry. I tried black cherry the other day for the first time and it was amazing. I love black cherry and I really like cranberry too, so let's see if this is any good. But hi, welcome to a foundation review while I drink a bomb leaf. How do I feel? How do I feel? How do I feel? I love cranberry, by the way. I really do love the taste of cranberry. And I think I like this. There's a bit of a weird aftertaste, but now I think I like it. I don't know why it took me a second for my brain to process that that was good, but it's good. And today we are gonna get spicy, folks. Actually, just kidding. We're not gonna get spicy. I'm gonna review a foundation. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts and then that's it. This video's gonna end. I feel like I've gotten to the point, guys, where I can no longer apologize for how many videos I've missed on my channel this year. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but Light Slacker truly is a full-time job. Like running your business yourself is a full-time job. And I've been trying to balance my life and trying to do like everything at once. And I'm aware that I'm not the best at that. I'm not great at managing my time and I'm trying to get better, but I feel like apologizing every single time you guys don't get a video can get so annoying. And I know that you guys are so over it. Oh so over it hmm. but i know you guys are so over it and you don't want to hear me apologizing 50 times a week but please know that i am trying to do everything at once and i'm trying to film and trying to run my business at the same time and trying to do tiktoks man i really love tiktok and boy do i miss it i haven't posted in a few days and i'm like <sighs> But anyway, basically I just wanted to say that I kind of want to stop apologizing for every time I miss a video. I just feel like for me, it's not that realistic for me to stick to a filming schedule that I've had since 2013, especially at this stage of my life when I have so much going on. But that doesn't mean I'm stopping my schedule. I don't want you guys to get scared. My goal is still always to post three times a week. I just want you guys to know that some weeks I might post twice a week and some weeks I might post once a week, but just know that I'm trying my best to post and that YouTube is still a really giant priority for me it's just so much has changed in my life and in YouTube in general like the beauty community and the YouTube world isn't what it once was and it's so hard for me to adapt and change to that it's just it's just a lot guys but anyway for today's video I'm gonna be testing out a foundation that really caught my attention this was sent to me in PR but obviously that's not gonna affect my opinion like if this sucks like if I try this right now and it absolutely sucks I'm gonna tell you it absolutely sucks <laughs> but this is the Bobbi Brown skin long wear fluid powder foundation and I really wanted to test it out with you guys on camera because it is a fluid powder foundation and it was really interesting to me because the whole concept of this foundation is that it goes from liquid to powder it says a first ever liquid to powder foundation from bobby brown yeah first ever for bobby brown because i'm pretty sure that liquid to powder thing has been done before it says it sets itself and it's a comfortable light coverage so you're not gonna get much coverage it's kind of like an everyday tinted moisturizer almost is what i'm getting at but it's definitely targeted for those with oily skin normal to oily skin why are you trying it then Honestly, I don't know. This is so weird. On the Sephora website, when it says how much SPF it has, it says SPF 30 and under. <laughs> it says it has SPF 20 on the bottle, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, I don't exactly know what SPF 30 and under means. I've already primed my skin. I used my Holy Grail Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I always like to use this primer when I'm testing out something new because that's my favorite. And today I'm gonna be mixing two colors together. I can get away with just beige, but I'm gonna mix in a little bit of warm beige as well. By the way, it says this has powder protein complex that help the skin look smooth and healthy. It says that the formula keeps the skin protected with environmental blue light and UV filters, cool. It says that the best way to apply this is actually with your fingertips because it's such a quick and easy application and like the whole self-setting process happens very fast. But if you do need a little bit more time to apply with a damp sponge because it doesn't set as quickly so that's why I am using a sponge on one side of my face and then I am gonna use my fingers on the other side by the way if you're curious on price this bad boy is $40 and you get 1.4 fluid ounces okay so this is with the foundation on half of my face I have a little bit of a mustache situation going on here where 
where I attempted to remove it with some facial nair and um, I didn't leave it on long enough because I got like all paranoid. I thought I was gonna burn my skin. And then when I went to remove it, like half of them stayed stuck and it created kind of like a rashy bump situation. I, I honestly, I don't know what happened because I do that all the time and this side is nice and smooth and this side is crusty and bumpy. <laughs> So foundation is sitting very oddly on top of that, but it actually looks good everywhere else And my skin is very matte at the moment, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like my skin looks really dry Look, can you tell? Damn, I'm not sure if you can tell but it looks matte in a good way and I definitely see how it sets itself very quickly As soon as I started to bounce this on my skin It would only stay wet for like a second and then it would immediately get matte and it doesn't feel tacky or anything It's definitely set. I'm gonna see how this applies with my fingers on the other side because I'm very curious to see Also, I had to use quite a bit of this. I had to use like two full pumps. Well, I mean uh, what is a full pump? This is a squeezy tube, but I had to use two pumps on this side of my face And usually I feel like I only use one pump So you do have to use quite a bit of product to get like your desired coverage because I feel like one thin layer of this Just wasn't enough coverage. So I did have to build up a little bit So you do use a little bit more than you normally would I think in my opinion. Let's see how it applies with my fingers. I never apply foundation with my fingers It definitely does set really quickly, so you have to work fast. I definitely prefer how it looks with a sponge. I think it helps it look a little bit more natural. I think it looks pretty matte when you apply it with your fingers. I'm just gonna apply some more with my sponge just to even everything out but you know what I'm also noticing now that it's been on my face for like 10 minutes it's starting to look dry <laughs> like it looked beautiful when I applied it right away but now it's starting to get really crusty in my dry spots I'm gonna zoom you in in a second obviously this foundation is targeted for those of you with oily skin so I wasn't expecting much for me but I do think it's important to test out foundations like this because there are so many matte foundations that I do really love and look great on dry skin like just because you have dry skin doesn't mean you have to wear a juicy greasy glowy situation you can look matte and look good if you're dry this however I don't know if this is the right fit for you. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the area around my nose, hella crusty. And just like my cheek area here, it looks like the foundation is sitting on top of my skin instead of looking like my skin. Damn, is it even coming out on camera? Or is like the lighting washing it out? It looks very dry in this area. So definitely not my favorite. And like, I feel like the longer it's sitting on my skin, the more I dislike it. Starting to see my lines really come in and look a little crepey. And my chin is starting to look really dry. So I don't know guys, I don't know. But we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna test out a new mascara I just recently got in the mail. This is the Marc Jacobs At Lashed Lifting and Volumizing Mascara. Super excited to try this. I actually really enjoy Marc Jacobs mascaras, so I hope it's a good one. But really quickly, I'm just gonna pop on the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna use my Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder in the shade Drawn In. I really, really love this. I used it recently on my IG stories. I really like how creamy it is and I really like the color. Like most of all, I love the undertone. It seems to be blending nicely on top of this foundation. It looks a little bit drier than I'm used to, but like I said, this foundation is pretty matte and I'm not used to that kind of thing. But it's applying nicely on top. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Gosas. Neutral bronze bronzer in the shade light. I really really love how shimmery it is I really love this packaging too by the way, but I love the sheen on this guy. So I just want to add a little bit To my skin help with the glow a little bit such a pretty warm bronzer if you have fair skin I don't love the scent on it though. It literally smells like chalk like chalk from elementary school that you used to use on the sidewalk For blush, I'm using Cover FX Soft Peach. Mixing these two together. I love these blushes. I don't use them as much as I should. But they're so, so pretty. By the way, guys, you know what I really want to do? I saw Jessie's video the other day where she was um, painting while drinking. <laughs> and I thought that that would be really fun to do. And I've seen those videos of people trying to recreate Bob Ross paintings. And 
I thought it would be fun for me to try to recreate a Bob Ross painting while I drank some spiked seltzer. If that's something you would be interested in watching, leave me a comment down below because I am the world's worst painter. Like I can't paint to save my life. I think that would be a really funny video. I don't know, I wanna do things that are, that are a little bit different. You know, step out of my comfort zone, try something that's out of the box. I never get around to doing it because I'm always like second guessing myself and I'm kind of insecure about my content to be honest, like to be completely 100% honest with you. But I'd love some ideas of things you wanna see any fun videos. But I think it would be fun to do it after like two spiked seltzers. Like maybe I maybe I get on camera after my third glass of wine or something. I feel like that would be hilarious to myself in my brain. Okay, I'm not loving how that looks. I'm not Guys, I didn't put on concealer. Why didn't you say something? I was literally about to tell you, I don't love how it looks around my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna take my Eau Maquillage Fuck On Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer and I'm gonna try to save this situation. And honestly, I'm using this concealer because it is so lightweight and really, really easy to blend. So I figured it would probably be easy to use on top of this foundation. That helped a bit. I don't know what that was about. I have so much lash glue on my eyes, it's not even funny. <laughs> For highlight, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Guys, this used to be my favorite palette back in the day, and it got discontinued, or it was limited edition, and they brought it back. But I do think it's a bit different. I don't think it's the exact same shades. I mean, I know it's not the exact same shades. I definitely prefer the original, but it's exciting to see this come back. I'm going to use... I'm going to use this shade right here, the first one in the trio, and just... Nope, I'm not gonna use the first one. It's too pinky, it's too pinky. I'm gonna use the second one. I'm gonna use a combo. Oh boy, that looks like a stripe on my face, doesn't it? I'm gonna try to use the last one. Yeah, definitely the last one is the way to go. And even then, it does still look like it's sitting on my skin. And to be honest, I think that has everything to do with this matte foundation. For some reason, I just don't love the way highlight looks when you start to blend it on top of a matte foundation. It just looks so... Crusty? I don't love it, I'm not gonna lie. Can you tell? It just looks like it's sitting on top of my skin and for some reason, this foundation makes my skin look so textured. I guess because it's so matte. I don't like the way this looks. I'm gonna drench my face in setting spray at the end of this video. I'm looking so dry. But I mean, really, what did I expect? What did I expect? That's like somebody with really oily skin reviewing a super dewy foundation and being shocked that they don't like it. Mm. I'm not shocked, I'm not shocked. But uh, I am dry. I'm dry as hell. So, <laughs> let's move on. Let's test out this bad boy. Let's see how, I haven't even seen, ooh, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 my type of wand. I'm going to curl my lashes. I have so much freaking glue on my eyelashes from my summer photo shoot two days ago, and I've tried to remove, oh, look at that, look at that. It's getting stuck to my eyelash curler. That's how much glue I have. This is definitely gonna affect the outcome of this mascara. Guys, honestly, why are you still subscribed to me? I'm such a freaky mess. Why are you still here? <laughs> I don't get, ow, ow! That definitely ripped out an eyelash or two. My lashes are stuck together because of this glue, so maybe I won't judge this mascara so harshly today. This smells weird. I mean, it smells like mascara with a hint of something. It's like mascara with a hint of farts, like leather farts. Like the way that your farts smell in a brand new car. That's what this smells like, your farts in a brand new car. I really, really like that. I tried out the Huda Beauty Mascara on my Monday makeup stories over on Instagram, and I really liked it, but so far, just based off of one coat, I think I like this one more. It's really, really volumizing. Wow, I really love this mascara. It's so volumizing. I wanna try it again when my lashes aren't like stuck together with glue, cause it's so good. I feel like I'm going to love this. It kind of reminds me of my Lancome Monsieur Big mascara. Super thick and volumizing. Yes, 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 yes. For lips, I'm just gonna line my lips with the ColourPop Osis lip liner. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the Shiseido Shimmer Gel Gloss in the shade 02. What's the name? 02? All right.
This lip liner is so pretty. I love these burnt terracotta rosy shades. Mm, so good. And I have been obsessed with this lip gloss. I love like the blue shimmer in it. So nice. I just want a little touch of the gloss. A little touch. Okay guys, so that completes this look. This was my first impressions on the new Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Fluid Powder Foundation. And I'm not gonna lie. I don't love it. There are foundations out there that are matte and great for dry skin, but I don't personally think this is one of them. It honestly doesn't look that bad unless you get really close to my face and then you start to see the little spots that are extremely dry. And it just emphasizes all your little imperfections, like even under the skin bumps, like this little pimple, I didn't even know it was right there until I put the foundation on, I had no idea. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's lightweight and it's it's nice. It doesn't feel like anything on the skin at all. And I like that there's SPF. There are some good things about it, but personally for my skin type, if I'm looking for a foundation that's matte, this is not something I'm gonna gravitate towards. For example, my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin is a matte foundation. It's targeted for those of you with oily skin. And I know so many of my oily friends who rave about it, but I actually love that foundation as well. And when I want a super matte, super flawless canvas, I usually go for that foundation. I think it's so good. As long as I prep and I moisturize, it looks really good. So it really just depends on your skin and what it can handle and what works for it. This one, in my opinion, just doesn't work for me. I'm going to splash my face with the soft focus setting spray from Hourglass. Because I need the moisture. Yes, yes. Give it to me, give it to me. I can feel my skin coming back to life already. Wow. All of a sudden, my highlight looks so much better. Man, I freaking love this setting spray. It's so good. Anyway, guys, that completes this video. I actually really, really enjoyed that Marc Jacobs mascara as well. If you were curious to know about that, I'm loving it so far. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, 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 so much, guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see from me next. Are you interested in any cool new videos? Shoot your ideas my way. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And so halfway through that sentence, I was... So many interruptions in today's video. I'm sorry. Sir, Porter. Excuse me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah? Mm, 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 mm. Them heads don't make no sense. Freak like.